Hey Vlogmas, day five. Today is a gloomy day again in LA. I guess our winters, we don't get obviously any snow. So the closest to a winter is a rainy day. It's a nice change of pace once in a while given we get so much sunshine during the summer and it gets so hot. It's actually quite nice and but it does make me feel very lazy. And today we're most likely just gonna chill at home and keep it pretty relaxed. Given tomorrow, I do need to go into work. I need to go into the office. So I don't wanna like exert myself too much and do too much and get tired. However, I do have makeup on. I tried out that cold girl makeup look that's been trending right now and I posted it on my TikTok. You guys want to go over there and see the full video, go check it out there. And if you haven't yet, I'd love for a follow over there as well. I do post consistently over there on, you know, a weekly basis. Connect with me over there. Say hi if you are following. If you haven't, I would appreciate a follow as well. This look has a lot of blush going on. It's supposed to like make you look like, you know, you feel you're in a cold place, you know how your face gets a little bit more red. And then it has a lot of like highlights going on. That's the whole look for this. Uh, but yeah, I was just trying it out for fun, thought might as well. There it tends to always be that connotation that after a certain age, you can't do this, you can't do that. And I really think that's BS. If you feel like you want to try it, go ahead and try it. And these makeup trends, I think it's just very fun. Like that's the whole thing with makeup and clothes. It's to make you feel good, have fun with it. So if you want to wear whatever you want to wear, it doesn't matter your age or whatnot, just do it. I always say, just do it. Especially like, I feel like now that I'm older, if anything, I care, if, if not, I care even less what other people think of me. As long as I want to try it, I'll try it. And yeah, so today is this look for now. I don't know if I'll do it every day, but once in a while, I think it'll be a cute change of pace to my usual more brown tone um, makeup. I'm even using like a more redder eyeshadow as well. And because yeah. I want to share this new product that I just recently purchased. Well, it's not a product, it's this organizer. And given it's the end of the year, I don't know about you. If you hear any noises, by the way, it's banded on the side by the window. It's right next to the camera. He is enjoying his window chill. This is him currently just fully enjoying this space of him. He loves this spot. He literally runs up here to try to have me put him up there. <laughs> Back to the subject on hand. Uh, I don't know about you, but I'm a big planner user. I love getting my things organized and for the longest time I used the Muji planner and I haven't been able to make that purchase because they no longer sell it here in the US. Most of the US Muji store, I think there was one on Santa Monica, that one closed out and then I would usually get it off of Etsy and have somebody like ship it from overseas. I haven't been able to get my hands on that either. I think they're just sold out and uh, the, maybe the word got out and so I've been looking for a substitute Last year, I've been using this guy. It's from Papier and it did its job. I like it. It's decent and I like the design too. But the problem with these, I feel like, and it's a hard cover too, I feel really wasteful at the end of the year having to throw everything out. Sure, I can, it's paper, we can recycle, but the hard cover, I don't know, it just makes it so seems so wasteful. So I wanted to opt for a reusable cover where I can just refill the inside every year. I ended up going with cloth and paper and this is the one that I got from them. They have a bunch of different formats and templates that you can use as the filler. And then they also have a bunch of different covers. I went with this clear one just because they have the leather ones too. I went with this one just because the planner is already quite heavy to begin with. I feel like this cover is the least heavy in comparison to all the other designs. This one is reusable. I can, you know, get new fills every year to get like it's set up again for next year. I'm gonna show you guys real quick. So first off, I did get a um, clear kind of holder, so that way anything like receipts or whatnot, I can just slip it in here. So this is where the month kind of starts. It gives you, you do, you can put in goals and then some of um, intentions and checklists and whatnot. This page is pretty straightforward. 
And then you go into the month planner where it's just the whole month and you can put in like and mark off, you know, obviously important dates, pretty straightforward standard as well. And then over here is by the weekly. And what I like about it is you can see that half of it is more just like a blank. And then here there's like graph paper style um, lines. So you can put like to do over here. And then here you can put like any appointments or whatnot. That's at least that's how I vision it in my head. For like easy note taking, it does have like month and dates on the top. So you can easily like just circle and whatnot and then go and fill in um, its graph paper style on the bottom and then you can just take notes I just have everything here this is a pretty straightforward planner but they also have a bunch of other fills that you can purchase they are not sponsoring this I'm just sharing it because I really love a good planner and I'm excited to have found them and start using them going on forward and then the last thing last little haul I want to share with you guys is I recently purchased an outfit from Mistress Rocks and I thought it was really cute I don't know where I'm gonna wear it to yet but it makes a really cute uh, holiday party look and that's why I want to share it here with you guys so it's a set. I already opened it because I wanted to try it on, make sure it actually fits me right. It runs very true to size. They do run pretty tight, the extra small and small. So if you are on the petite end, I do think this will fit you really well. I know like people think being petite is ideal because most clothes run small. A lot of times on the bust area and sometimes on the hip area, they tend to have very unrealistic lines that they expect you to fill in and some brands expect us all to be like the Kardashians which is unrealistic. Top is this little corset top. It has a little dip in the front and it has all these sparkly accents. It's very chic, simple but with some like a little bit of novelty to it. Front is like this and the crystals go all the way to the back as well and there's a zipper in the center back and if as you can see this here has somewhat of a dip has a pattern to it because it actually comes with a matching pair of pants and these pants are semi flared on the bottom very fitted on the hips it is a low rise up in the front, but what I love about it is now they're smart about the low rise, it's not a low rise all around. The back still hits where it needs to hit so that your your back end is falling out and when you sit down and whatnot, it still feels very comfortable because yeah, I know for many of us elder millennials, we swore of low rise for the rest of our lives, but unfortunately, but maybe also fortunately, it's making a comeback, but this time around, people are smarter about their fit. So like, it's it's a really cute set. Can't wait to wear it. Maybe I'll wear it for a Christmas party. I'm not sure. I don't have anything planned. I just wanted this outfit to be very fair, but... Uh, yeah. so This jelly bean. Oh my god, I'm so close. No, don't go so close. That scared me. This jelly bean. Oh my god, I 